Time magazine has named Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg its person of the year. I'm shocked. My money was on the don't touch my junk guy. With me now to talk about this and other stories in the news are Rebecca Dana, senior correspondent for the Daily Beast, fashion designer David Meister, and Tia Carrere, actress and singer who was recently nominated for her fourth Grammy. Congratulations to you, Thank Tia. You. Uh, Rebecca, Facebook has been around for a while. It has. And the social network made him seem like a jerk frankly. Yeah, I mean, not that that's autobiographical, autobiographical in the slightest, but yeah, it made him seem like a jerk. He gave some money to the New Jersey school system. Facebook's kind of a big deal, but it seems One like an One in ten people on the planet yes. is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big. That's probably what it was. Yeah, it's not insignificant. I think also, like, Julian Assange, who are, the, who are these other people? I, my <laughs> bigger question is, who cares? Why does Time Magazine's Person of the Year still exist? Like, Adolf Hitler? All right, I get it. I yeah, get they it. Did, like, they they that's, did put him once, that's yeah. a man of the year. But Marx, like, why? It's it's so anachronistic. It's such a bizarre thing well, to who even would you care have about anymore. I, I don't know. Would I don't you have know. Put Sarah Palin on I think, the cover? No, I think nobody. I don't. I think this is like a stupid nobody. thing to do That's in the first the place. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Just have a blank yeah. page. It's brilliant. Well, they, I mean, this is what Time Magazine has been doing for the last five years. They did You, which had sort of like a mirrored cover. Oh, I, yeah. I just don't even know why this thing exists. Why do we need to have a person of the year? Well, you know, the other thing is that Zuckerberg is 26 years old. He's he's the second youngest person. Charles Lindbergh was the first in 1927. And he was 25. Do you think maybe they're trying to go for the younger d uh, demographic? David? I think absolutely. You know, I think it's a very safe choice as well. Who's He's Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg. Everybody yeah. knows the Facebook. The thing that I find ironic is the fact, you know, the internet is stealing so much business away from the magazines at this point, and a magazine is actually picking someone from the internet as their man of the year. I think there's something a little ironic That's interesting. there. interesting. Why do you think they did that? They want to get those people to want to read their magazine. Yeah, and I think, again, the younger demographic is absolutely true. Well, the truth about these things also is that they're really just naked commercial gambits. Like, part of the reason they chose Mark Zuckerberg is because Mark Zuckerberg gave them an interview, and they want to sell magazines, and not a lot of people get interviews with Mark Zuckerberg. I'm sure if, like, I don't know, Qaddafi gave them an interview that was really great, maybe Qaddafi would be the man of the year. I know, but don't you think he really deserved being person of the year? I mean, he's changed the way that we communicate, for better or for worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have followers, we have virtual friends. I mean, we don't even know how to communicate on a deep level, due in no small part to Facebook. You know, it's like, it's like the greatest hits synopsizing of our lives. This is the way we approach every relationship now. And, That's you know, true. I, I mean, I don't like it. But, uh, you know, my father was able to find three friends that he knew in childhood in the Philippines from Facebook, and they got together and did their three-part harmonies. Oh, and, isn't that know, sweet? Yeah, and it's, you know, so it works. I but. think there's no question that Facebook has completely revolutionized the way we socialize, the way we interact, the way we live online. Yes. I'm just not sure why this year, as opposed to five years why ago, when this you year? started Because right. it's really last year's news. I mean, it's yeah. really the Aaron Sorkin movie. Yeah, Re Rebecca, it? only five women, individual it's women, outrageous. Uh, in all the years that they've been doing this, which is how many years? Hundreds and hundreds of years. Whatever. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I don't know how many years. Corazon Aquino. Yes. You, you say that you're part Filipino. Yes, then. yes. And Queen Elizabeth II. Um, General and Madame Chiang Kai-shek. But they, she came with the husband. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> and Wallace Simpson. Remember, that was the one that uh, King Edward uh, uh, gave up the crown for Wallace Simpson. She right. must have done something really good. <laughs> okay, moving on. In related news, Sandra Bullock, who left her cheating husband, Jesse James, and is raising her adopted son, Louis, as a single mom, was just named People Magazine's Woman of the Year. Okay, what do you make of that tell me I make exactly the same thing I mean I <laughs> I don't understand why these things exist I'm sorry to be such a killjoy with all of this but also I mean people met like Sandra Bullock did a cover hoisting up her beautiful adopted child for People Magazine. Elin Nordegren is also on their list, also gave an exclusive to People Magazine. Like, it's wonderful to celebrate these great people, and Mark Zuckerberg is a visionary, and Sandra Bullock, who doesn't love Sandra Bullock, but, you know, we might as well acknowledge what's going on here, which is that everybody's scratching each other's backs, which well, you is know what? fine, it's but that's what It's all about the cheating guys. I'm thinking of yeah. giving uh, Steve Ashley Dupre's number. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be on the list. Cover. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Her, she was not exactly a controversial choice this year, Sandra. Everyone loves her. She's America's sweetheart. She happens to be a lovely person, it seems. So it was no big deal. 
Well, it's the underdog story that we love, you know, the woman who prevails against a cheating husband. I mean, country songs have been written about it. Yeah. And, um, you know, she's, she's beyond reproach. Yeah. And like you said, it's, it is a little bit of a blatant consumerism. Who doesn't love her? Who's not going to pick up the cover oh, oh, you know, of this magazine and right. want to read it and right. buy it? So. Yeah, I think the one thing that's great about her is through all the press and the paparazzi and through all these horrible things, she's had a great year and she's had some sucky things. She's never once really sunk to any low level. She's always just gone about her life and kind of right. just done her How thing. How do you like the way she dresses, David? She's stunning. <laughs> she's stunning. She, okay. she can go from glam to rocking. Do you great. like my top? You look fabulous and that color is great on you. <laughs> okay, thank you, David. <laughs> Pay him later. Nice. Okay. Hollywood seniors, this is a good one. <laughs> Betty White and Ed Asner got rowdy during a photo shoot for The Hollywood Reporter. And Betty actually grabbed Ed Asner's crotch. Unfortunately, he's so old, he just turned his head and coughed. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, um, what do you think of senior citizens acting in these ways? Because he, he went then and grabbed her boobs, too, you know. I'm all for They're it. just wacky. I hope when I'm Betty White's age, someone's grabbing my boobs like that. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're fake and someone grabs them and they're, you know, and they're fake? Is that the same jollies well, that an old guy's going to get? I don't know. I know. At that age, they're going to be hanging. For, I don't no, know. No, they won't be. Everything that's will right, be hanging, gonna, but these uh, will be at attention. Perfect. You're right. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> But it, Betty White's always been that way, though, hasn't she? She's always yes. invited that anyway. Yeah. So. I think it's wonderful. I'm sort of surprised at uh, Ed Asner, didn't you, aren't you? I, I don't know. I didn't think he was that. Very he, 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 <laughs> he, he, he later threatened Larry Hagman, another older guy with his cane. And Hagman said, I had a, colos a colostomy. What did he say? A, col a, a colostomy. colonoscopy <laughs> yesterday, so I can take anything, he said. Whoa! <laughs> what are you TMI! TMI, Larry. Okay, let's do another story. Uh, it, it is what is becoming a trend for powerful Republicans. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell choked up during a farewell speech to retiring <laughs> Senator Judd Gregg of New Hampshire. Take a look. Now, to say that I tried to convince Judd to stay is an understatement. Um, but he knew it was his time to move on and to write the next uh, chapter, next chapter in his life. <clears throat> when he walks out of this chamber for the last time, he'll leave an enormous void behind. What can you say to this? I have, two, I have two words for you. Glenn Beck. These people are not stupid, and they are learning from a master populist here. I would not be surprised if all of this is orchestrated, first of all. Second of all, I wouldn't care if they were crying all the time, if they were also getting something done. But instead, they're just crying all the time. I really wish yeah. for that. All the Republican, the Republican guys are crying hysterically, and all the yeah. Republican women are out shooting animals. <laughs> I mean, it's like a role reversal. Yeah. You know, I'm all for a little man emotion, but this is crazy. It's like Senate floor, slippery when wet. I mean, of all the things we could be crying over, and of all the real issues to cry over in this country, the things that they're crying over, it's like, That's come on, guys, crying. suck yeah. it up. Yeah. But where are the Republican tears for the unemployed and they, the uninsured? Oh, yeah. they, oh he's retiring. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, and this is the same guy. Break. <laughs> Emotionally <laughs> unstable. I don't think it's a put-on. I think they're really sick. Something's wrong with that. Uh, I wonder if they have a change in the middle of their life the way women do. I'm wondering if there's a hormonal imbalance. I think he's past that phase. I know. Well, when Glenn Beck starts to fan himself, we know it then we'll go into Once they menopause. Once chalkboards, Sarah, then we'll know for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if this is if this is in some measure calculated. But they can't stop. I mean, if they start to filibuster, it's going to be a tsunami. <laughs> I mean, can they lead in this particular emotional state? Yeah, I, I mean, can they lead in any emotional I'm, state? I'm just, just happy that it's words. No, I'm just happy that it breaks up the monotony of C-SPAN. Let's be honest. You're sitting there. That's true. Yeah, mwah, 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 mwah. It's like Charlie Brown's teacher, and then. Hey, at least they're crying. I'm waiting for full frontal nudity next. That's awesome. what I want. Yeah, yeah. Come on, John Boehner. Let's see what you got. Man up. What happened to man up? That only goes for That's Democrats. Yeah. Go for uh, Republican women, apparently. Uh, for Republican women. Man up. Grow some hair on your lip. Thanks, everybody. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs>